Hey everybody, welcome to the Happy Harvest Homestead. A couple of weeks ago, a very foolish grasshopper sealed the fate of his entire species as my eternal enemies when he mowed the tops off of my baby marigold seedlings. All year we have been plagued somewhat by grasshoppers, a lot more than usual, probably because we are not free ranging our chickens anymore. And they have nibbled some stuff here and there and caused some damage and it's been kind of annoying. But when your newborn baby seedlings get massacred, any rational person would begin an eternal crusade against the foul creatures that did such a terrible thing. And because I am a very logical and rational person, that is exactly what I did. And because catching a bunch of grasshoppers by hand is very hard, I decided to be sneaky and begin trying methods of grasshopper eradication, the first of which being a molasses trap. I heard somewhere online or in some book that if you set a jar of water and molasses out in your garden, the grasshoppers will be attracted to it and they'll jump in the water and they'll drown. So we're going to try that today and see if it's true and see if it works and hopefully kill a bunch of these nasty bugs. So it's been a few days, and as you can see, my little molasses jar did not work very well. For a long while, it didn't catch anything, so I began moving it in different places around the garden to make sure I hadn't just chosen a poor spot to begin with, but as you can see, I only caught one grasshopper, and there are still dozens that are wreaking havoc on our plants, so I'm going to have to figure out another way of getting rid of these nasty bugs. So if you have any suggestions or things you know that work, please let me know in the comments because my crusade is far from over and I'm just now more determined than ever to get rid of these terrible bugs so I can properly avenge the lives of my baby marigold plants. <laughs> Thanks for watching.